Uh, so when I was coming back uh, over to Queens using that uh, the same uh, bridge that I'd already taken, I got a better chance to look at it since I wasn't being, uh, you know, poured rain down on me. So as I was approaching it, uh, there's a sign that said drawbridge, and I thought, oh, is this a drawbridge? Uh, so I looked at it, and I was trying to see, you know, where the two halves of the bridge uh, connected in the middle, um, but I couldn't see it. Like I couldn't. They must have hidden it really well or something. Uh, but then when I got home, I looked it up, and it's actually not a drawbridge, it's a lift bridge. Uh, just like the other passenger bridges that I was looking at uh, uh, yesterday, and there's also a, a one for the Triborough Bridge, which is a lift bridge. Or basically just the middle of the bridge um, is connected with cables, and they can be lifted up. Um, so a big shift can go underneath. But on that bridge, I did get a nice, I mean, again, a nice view of the Queensboro Bridge, and it let me see both directions down the river. So after getting back to Queens, I was all ready to take the Queensboro Bridge to get back home, and I had never been on the Queensboro Bridge. Uh, but I, well, my plan was when I went on the Queensboro Bridge, I wanted uh, to be listening the whole way across. I wanted to be listening to the song, uh, the 59th Street Bridge, uh, by Simon and Garfunkel, the feeling groovy song, just because that song was about going across that bridge exactly, and you know it's even named after that bridge. So I figured I want to listen to the song while I'm going over this bridge. Uh, so I was waiting at the bottom to get, to get my headphones and stuff ready, and I, was, and I just was digging through my backpack, and I just couldn't find my headphones anywhere. Uh, so I had this idea of maybe I was using to use my computer and then just listen to it through little speakers, and I tried that, and it was just too quiet. And, and then all of a sudden, the rain started again, and I just quickly put everything away, and I just rushed across the bridge as fast as I could just so I could get home and get out of the rain. So unfortunately, I didn't get to uh, do what I wanted to do on the Queensboro Bridge, um, but uh, I did get to go across, and then hopefully I'll get to go back again, and maybe I'll be able to find my headphones this time, and uh, it won't be raining. And Well, the time wasn't really right either, because it was like 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening, and I could have songs about, you know, crossing the bridge in the morning. Uh, you know, uh, you got to make the morning last. That's the only lyrics in it, right? It's about, you know, getting ready for the day kind of thing, I guess. Hopefully I'll get there again, uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'll, I'll have to see what my schedule has in it. So the whole ride home was just a light downpour. It wasn't really heavy rain, but uh, uh, it was quite, you know, it's, I was all the way up at 59th Street, and they had to get down to uh, where I am, which is like below 14th Street. So uh, it was quite a, quite a long ride and uh, quite a wet ride. But I got back here, and, uh, you know, I took all my, my wet clothes, and I hung them up to dry. Uh, and then I started looking for those keys that I, in the morning, I, you know, I said I forgot my keys, and I wanted to make sure I found them because... I did have an extra set of keys, but, uh, um, you know, the extra, the spare set of keys is for if you lose your keys so you can unlock your, your stuff if you lose them. So I didn't want to start using my spare keys as my, you know, my, my primary keys because if I lost most spares, then I'm done. I got to cut the locks or, or, uh, you know, find some other way of, of, of using my, my bike. So, so I just dug through all of my stuff. I pulled out, you know, all my dirty laundry. I went through. I had no idea where it was. Uh, I just couldn't find those keys anywhere. I probably spent from 45 minutes to an hour just looking for those those keys for my bike. And as it turned out, they were in my backpack the entire time. Uh, just a little pocket that I, I didn't know about or I knew about. But I knew about in the morning when I put there, but, but the color of the keys and, and they didn't have the little pocket knife attached to them anymore, which made them seem a lot smaller than they were. And I didn't feel them when I was feeling around for it. And, well, I was relieved to find it, but, uh, you know, I wasted a whole hour searching for them. Uh, and at, at that point, it was like 8 o'clock at night or something, or maybe 9, and uh, I was feeling pretty thirsty. I, you know, I ate dinner at around like 4.30 or something, and, uh, you know, I'd been traveling a lot during the day, and I was, you know, sweating a lot and drinking lots of water, but I was, uh, you know, feeling in the mood for a little bit more of a drink. Uh, like, uh, I was really craving like a slushy. So I went out in the rain trying to find a convenience store that had slushies, and I saw a few that had uh, like empty slushy machines, and a few that just didn't sell anything. They didn't sell like this old like pop and stuff. Um, but you know, I just kept walking, and I, I found this neat uh, this neat walking path which I hadn't seen before. Uh, I just saw like there was, a, there was some stairs, and there was a sign. It was like one of the uh, regular uh, New York City park signs that, that you see everywhere. And I thought, well, why is this? Why are these stairs a park? And uh, so I looked at a little map, and it showed that there was like a walkway that went uh, uptown. So I walked up the stairs, and I figured, okay, well, I'll go up a few blocks, and then 
I'll uh, walk back through the streets and then maybe I'll find a convenience store that has slushies. But there's a really neat uh, pathway. It's called High Line, and it actually goes for a full mile um, uptown. So it starts like below 14th Street and goes all the way to like 30th Street, which is you know a really far distance, a whole mile. And uh, it was it was so it was built uh, on an elevated railway platform um, that had been there for for many years before it was a a walkway. And it's a really neat walk. Like they they turned it into like a really nice garden. Um, they sort of got you know plants and trees growing up on both sides. And this is a little narrow pathway, or it, it, you know there's benches and it's really neat seeing at night when it was lit. And in the, even in the rain it was pretty neat as well. And uh, the pathway kind of goes kind of goes through the middles of buildings. Like this railway was here, and uh, you know it was an industrial railway, so lots of big factories and stuff in that area. Um, you know, they had platforms so you could get to them, and they even had parts of buildings uh, that overhang over top of over top of the uh, the, the railway there, and uh, it, it was pretty neat walking through it. I didn't take my camera with me, unfortunately, um, but I wouldn't have probably seen much anyways because it was so dark, and I would have gotten my camera uh, all soaking wet and stuff. But uh, well, I never never ended up finding a convenience store that had slushies, so I just went and got some uh, Gatorade and uh, some uh, some pop as well, just because I sweated a lot and I, was, I wasn't really particularly hungry, but I was thirsty and water really wasn't doing what I wanted for me, so I just got some uh, some pop and that was good. So when I got home though, I was totally, totally soaking wet, like the rain I got hit with uh, coming up back from 59th Street on my bike was nothing compared to uh, the wet I got when I was out uh, just earlier this evening. Um, so I was you know glad to be home, took off my white clothes and they're all hanging up right now. And, uh, well, that, that was the end of my day, pretty much. After that, I just sat down and started looking through all the video clips I took during the day. And I turned on the camera and started making this video. So, uh, that was the end of my uh, Sunday visiting Queens, uh, my fifth day in New York City. I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing about my uh, my travels and seeing what I saw from my through my own eyes on my camera. So, stay tuned to see what I need to do tomorrow. And uh, if you like what you see... Press the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.